Let's take our input box a few steps further. You'll remember we want to get a little more descriptive about the choices the user has in order to sort the list. Really, I want to make the message portion, the prompting portion of the input box, more descriptive. And not just, how would you like to sort the list and then leave it up to the user. I want to give them choices. If they input a number one, then we'll sort the list as a division sort. If they input a number two, then we'll sort the list by category, a number three by total, and so on. So give them clear, distinct choices for them to input. Again, one, this helps them out. They're gonna know what's expected of them. Two, it's gonna help us because now we're starting to control the user's experience and that helps us with our programming side within VBA as well. So let me get rid of this. I don't want that prompt inside of there. Now our prompt's gonna be pretty big and I wanna format it a little bit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna create another variable. Let's actually just put that right up next to that one. We'll call this um, prompt message, prompt MSG. It's gonna be another string, or I'm gonna store another string in there. Now prompt MSG or message is gonna be what the user actually sees and gives them the choices. So I wanna do something like this. Let me write on my screen here for a moment. Imagine I've got my box, okay? and inside that box, I want it to say, um, let's see, sort the lists, and then I wanna wrap down a line, and I wanna say something like a one would be sort by division, and then wrap down a line, and do a number two would be sort by category, if I could spell right, category, and so on. Wrap down a line, number three would be equal to this, and so on. Okay. So we'll expect the user to type in one of those numeric values, but I wanna present the message to them in a nice, clean, readable way. Okay. So this is really what we're gonna create right here. We're gonna create this and store it inside of this variable called prompt MSG. Now there's gonna be a bit going on in here. I'm gonna talk about each piece of it. Uh, essentially, we're gonna take several pieces of text and we're gonna combine them together, okay, to make this nice paragraph of choices for the user to pick from. So I'm gonna say, uh, let's get even more descriptive. I'm gonna say, enter a numeric value to sort, dot, dot, dot. I'll close that one. So now, I wanna take that, that first little blurb, that first sentence, and I'm gonna combine that. That's an ampersand character, that's the and symbol. It's your combining or concatenating character. I wanna combine that with a carriage return, so we drop down a line to start giving them the choices. Uh, to do that set of VBA, the character is VBCRLF. It's a carriage return line feed. Then I'm going to combine that with the next line. So enter a numeric value to sort. Then I wanna wrap down a line and combine that with the next sentence. So the ampersand does the combining. We combine the first sentence with the carriage return. Then we combine that with the next line down below. And I'm just gonna tab in just to make it look cleaner for me here. So I'm gonna say quote one dot 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 uh, sort by division. Then I'll close that and I'm gonna combine that with another VBCRLF, combine that with the next line. Oops, I hit my enter key too many times there. And then I'm gonna bring in a two and just repeat the whole process here. So now we'll say sort by category. Cool. And I'll combine that, VBCRLF. And I'll combine that with the next line. And this will be the last option, sort by total. There we go. And I'm not gonna combine that with anything else. That's the last line right there. 
So our prompt message is going to be equal to all of this right here. So we'll have enter a numeric value on the first line, then we'll wrap down to the next line, do the number one, which is equal to this, wrap down to the next line, and so on. Now you're going to see when I hit my enter key one more time, because I'm all done with that right there, stuff becomes capitalized. C, L, got capital everywhere, V, B, C, L, L, C, R, L, F is used, carriage return line feed, and my MSG became capitalized as well, because it's matching the declaration of the variable as well. So that's done. That's There's a lot going on in there. Read through that, make sure you understand what's happening. The concatenating, combining character, and the return, carriage return, drop down to the next line. So now I wanna take this, this variable, which is now our prompting message, copy that, and I'm gonna go paste it into my input box. Let's just get rid of this white space here. All right, let's see what this looks like. I'm gonna click into my procedure, I'm gonna go hit the run button, and there's my prompt. Enter a numeric value to sort, drop down a line, one equals this, two equals this, three equals this. So I could type in a value, such as two, because I want to sort by category. I hit OK, and that number two is now being stored inside of this variable called user input. There's our message box, nice little, or our input box, asking the user for some input, giving them a nice direct message to look at, know what they need to type in, one, two, or three in this case, and then receiving that value back into your code. So try this out. Nail down that message, get more direct. If you want to get fancier with it, feel free. If not, you can just copy verbatim what I got on the screen there, which is totally fine. And then our next step, we'll jump into the next video, we're going to take a look at building the logic. If they enter a one, then sort it by division. If they enter a two, then sort it by, and so on. Okay. So get this message box done, and then jump into the next video.